Good morning. Uh, happy Tuesday to everybody. Talk out Tuesday. Um, this is Mornings with Michael for informational educational purposes only. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what's happening today. Uh, China's consumer inflation eased to its lowest level in more than a year in March as prices for both food and non-food products retreated. The CPI rose 0.7% on the year. China food prices rose 2.4% the year in March. Pork prices accelerated 9.6% year-on-year increase. UK Barclays uh, consumer credit and debit card spending in March was 4%. Um, year over year from 5.9% in February. U.S. spies caught uh, Russian intelligence officers boasting that they had convinced UAE to work together against U.S. and U.K. intelligence agencies. And the NFIB Small Business Optimism Index, 90.1 versus 90.9 in February. In um, company news, AMC Entertainment Holdings says it has 9.1 passive stake in National Cinemedia and CMI as of March 29, 2023. CarMax quarterly uh, EPS quarter four point. 44 cents versus a 0.24. Um, revenues were 5.7 billion versus estimated 6.04 billion. Kura Sushi announces an, a stock offering of 1.1 million shares of Class A common stock. Price Smart, PSMT, second quarter adjusted EPS, dollar and a quarter versus estimated 88 cents on revenues of 1.14 billion versus estimated 1.13 billion. Uh, Potbelly PBPB says preliminary 2023 same store sales, high single to low double digit growth. WW International, which was formerly known as Weight Watchers soared 25.2% toward a five week high in pre-market trading Tuesday. And um, car loans, the average interest rate on the 48-month new car loans in the U.S. has moved up to 7.46, the highest we've seen since 2007. A year ago, the rate was 4.87. Uh, Newcrest Mining, NCMGY, said it has received a revised conditional and non-binding proposal from Newmont Corporation, NEM, to acquire 100% of the issued shares in Newcrest by a way of scheme of arrangement. Murphy Oil upgraded to buy from hold at Truist. EQT downgraded to hold from buy at, buy at Truist. Credit Swiss and UBS must freeze any job cuts planned as part of their emergency merger. Uh, NASDAQ and DAQ downgraded to equal weight from overweight at Morgan Stanley, while Virtue, VIRT Financial, to equal weight from underweight. Billion dollar investor Warren Buffett told Japan's Nikkei newspaper that he has increased his exposure to Japanese stocks. Diversified Healthcare Trust announced a definitive merger with Office Properties Income Trust, OPI. Uh, in healthcare, Tilray quarterly three revenues, 145.6 million versus estimated 149.9. A uh, loss of a dollar ninety per share, and Centigene SNTG extends strategic partnership with Takeda, TAK to continue providing access to genetic testing for patients with lysosomal storage disorders. Zimmer Bionet ZBH upgraded to outperform from inline at Evercore ISI. And then finally, in technology, Adtran ADTN guides preliminary quarterly revenue to 322 million to 326 million below a uh, prior 355 million to 375 million. And uh, Kamai, aka M, upgraded to overweight from neutral at Piper.
So let's take a look at our charts here. Uh, Marcus Corporation was up big yesterday. It's up another eight. Uh, 0.34% this morning. Let's take a look at our indexes first. NASDAQ uh, is down 0.6%. Uh, take a look at the VIX. The VIX is down a little over 1.2%. So the S&P should be up. S&P up just slightly, 0.05%. The diamonds, Dow Industrials up slightly. They were up uh, pretty well. They were up the most yesterday. And uh, actually, small cap uh, were up the most yesterday, had a huge gain. Today, they're popping up above their declining 20 days. So they're above their 10 and 20 day line. We'll see if they can continue to improve. Look at the dollar. The dollar is retreating. It's below its gap up of yesterday. It's resting on its declining 10 day average. Take a look. Gold this morning should be up. It is uh, filling the gap, so to speak. Silver is up slightly, 0.59% um, in the news is Bitcoin above uh, 30,000. Bitcoin is up 0.4, And Ethereum, I thought looked uh, pretty well as well. It's up 1.1% today uh, after kind of breaking out of its consolidation. So it came above its declining 200 day and now it's breaking out of this little uh, two day pattern. Let's look at our ETFs. Metals and mining continues to improve. It's above its 20 day. And our energy sector continues to improve. Look at oil prices are up slightly, up 90 cents. It looks like uh, natural gas has moved up quite a bit from 6.47, now it's above seven. But our drillers. Moving up slightly. I think we got a pullback slightly in our uh, semiconductors. Slight pullback in software uh, or technology. And software. Looks like real estate's trying to hang in there up slightly this morning. Utilities just kind of hanging in there. So let's take a look at what's moving today on the positive side. Interesting that Kurasushi uh, with that extra Issuance of stock is actually up today. It's up 22%. CarMax is up 10% uh, on its earnings, even though they declined 55%. I believe that's above what they had expected. EBICS 
our number one mover yesterday continues um, moving today up another 22 percent target therapeutics up 15.7 percent uh, but uh which has been falling it's filling the gap here been in the news because of its advertising audio codes up six percent shockwave medical wow that's nice move um gapped up above its 200 day moving average up nine percent a lot of the i noticed a lot of of the bitcoin uh, cryptocurrency platforms were doing well earlier so riot platforms is up of uh, 12 percent and uh, steel products in korea is is up here slightly so take a look at what's moving down add trend holdings down 25 percent broadband uh, company gravity ATR ADR continues uh, moving down. It's down massively yesterday. Now it's bouncing off of its 50 day moving average. Braze down 5%. Looks like it was down further, but it's uh, trying to hold a bid here. First Trust Cloud Computing is down moderna is down uh, about five percent this morning on some failures of its cancer drug and snowflake and software is pulling back about seven and a quarter percent albertson's is down 1.39 percent so that's a take a look at our market today. Hope everybody has a great Taco Tuesday. Get out there and um, work your activities and keep moving forward. If you have any questions about your financial goals, feel free to contact us. This has been Mornings with Michael for informational, educational, and entertainment purposes only. Hope everybody has a great Tuesday.